I'm not African because I was born in Africa. I'm African because Africa was born in me. That quote by Kwame Nkrumah is a guiding force for many of us who look beyond borders. That quote became a guiding force for me to be able to say, I'm your brother, I'm your sister. I come from the Gold Coast, the smell of coconut in the air, black women walking, sashaying with some spirit. I come from sweetness, from love, from black men with colognes that smelled like a basket of roses. I come from the Africa in Central America. I come from Colón, República de Panamá. And then I got on the plane to come as a college student here in Boston. And I thought I was ahead of the game because I grew up in the American section in Panama where I knew segregation and black and whiteness, but I wasn't ready for what I was about to face. I quickly became invisible from a child who was very visible. That cold in Boston, you know the cold that we've been having recently? That you don't wanna eat all the good healthy stuff. You wanna eat comfort food. You know, you wanna eat the bad stuff. In my freshman year, I was like, I need some habichuelas and some yuca and some platanos. So I went to my RA and she says, oh, you have to go to Jamaica Plain. So I get on the bus 30 minutes from campus and I'm all excited, I'm like, I need to smell home. I need to see home. I need to hear home. And I see the tienda, but there's so many in Jamaica Plain. So I choose one and I walk in and I say to the, Buenas Doña, como esta? I'm fine. Uh, Tiene yuca y plátano y arroz y habichuelas. You have yuca, you have plantains, you have beans. I'll one and I'll four. I gather up my stuff and I get to the counter and I say to her, ay, estoy tan alegre que encontré esta tienda. I'm so happy to find the store. Oh, I'm happy you found the store. I pause because I hear something in her voice that doesn't feel like home. I say to her, I'm speaking to you in Spanish and you're speaking to me in English. Why? Yo no sé. I don't know. And I say, pero yo soy panameña, yo soy negra. And she says, I thought you were one of them. You're not black. I thought you were one of them. One of who? One of them. And that statement became the changing statement of my life. I got on the bus back to campus and I began to question everything I was told. I began to question my pride in my blackness, my pride in being Panamanian, my pride in my Caribbeanness. I realized that my Latino classmates did not speak to me in Spanish, and I never knew that until this tienda incident. And that my African American classmates treated me as a different kind of black. I would hear that you're a different kind of black. I became the black tennis player, not just the tennis player. I became the black tennis player. I fell into this deep depression and a deep sadness that I never experienced as a child. But then these moments that became daily moments, weekly moments, became, felt like someone was pounding on me. They were violent to me. The racism, the rejection, the denial felt violent to me. My body felt it. I had an eating disorder um, in the midst of all of this. And then I decided to search. I went on a search. I was doing my schoolwork, and I would stay up and read the autobiography of Malcolm X. I would do my other schoolwork, and I read the autobiography of Asada Shakur. I started to go to every conference, every place that I could be at so I could say, I'm black and I'm proud and I'm Panamanian, yo soy Panamanian, yo soy negra. Because I wanted folks to understand that we were all connected. I chose not to be that black Latina that said, yo no soy negra, yo soy Panamanian. 
Yo sí soy negra y sí soy panameña. I am black and I am Panamanian. And I founded the organization Encuentro Diaspora Afro because I wanted folks to have a place to come and be themselves, be in their full self. I found Loretta, who gave me books. I found Tony and Askia and Jamadari, who took me along with them everywhere they went. And I found Ifa and my Ori, my spiritual head, opened the road to many good things. And I stand here tonight with you, proud to be black, proud to be African, proud to be Panamanian in my birth-given light. Thank you. Thank you.